Hello again, my dears, my beloveds, my lovely, lovely people. Thank you for joining me again for the Carnivore Hippie Meditation. So I promised you last time that we would do some positive projection. Okay, so what this is, is we're going to think ahead to a time when we will be challenged. And we're going to learn to draw on a past memory that made us feel strong in order to harvest that feeling of strength and confidence to assist us in a what will be present situation. Okay, so you may have to pause the video to do this. But I want you to think for a moment and recall a memory of a situation where you felt strong or brave or very capable. And it doesn't matter what it is. You're not going to tell anybody what it is. So you don't have to worry about if it's trivial. It cannot be too trivial because if it made you feel strong and capable, it isn't trivial to you. All right. So if you have to pause the video for a moment and just trap that memory in your mind and think about it for a moment, just think, remember everything you can about it and just store it up there for just a minute. And then again, if you have to leave the video paused, that's fine. Do your self-assessment exercise. Go ahead and from toes to the top of the head, Get yourself all nice, relaxed, and in the moment, and completely present. Okay? I'll give you a minute to go ahead and do that. Pardon me, my nose itches. I'm terrible at editing, so until I figure that out, you guys are just going to have to take what comes. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get it eventually. Anyway, so here we go. I want you to... Now that you've done your self-assessment, you're comfy, you're present, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, and inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. And now I want you to draw upon your memory whatever memory you've chosen. And I want you to remember the situation and the circumstances. And I want you to think about those feelings of whatever they were, bravery, courage, pride, accomplishment, strength, any of those things. I want you to think about that. And I want you to remember how you felt in that moment. And I want you to notice I'm looking for you to have an emotional reaction, not a specific emotional reaction, but just an emotional reaction. And when you have an emotional reaction, you will have a physical reaction somewhere in your body. I want you to notice, be present, and I want you to notice where the physical reaction that corresponds to that feeling, to that good, positive feeling. What is it? Where is it? Is it in your stomach? Is it in your chest? Is it in your head? Is it in your face? Wherever it is. Is it a smile? Just notice it. Think about it. Connect those two things. The physical reaction and the memory in your head. Okay? Think about it for another minute, for another few seconds. And then in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. Now, we're going to imagine something. We're going to imagine that there's some point in the future where you will be faced with a difficult situation. And again, you don't have to tell anybody what you're thinking about, so it doesn't matter. Don't worry about if anybody else thinks it's trivial. Just 
imagine you're going to be faced with a difficult situation. It's going to be uncomfortable. It may make you upset. But I want you to imagine that your future self is remembering this exercise that we're doing right now. And your future self is remembering that feeling, that positive feeling of strength or courage or whatever it was. And your, posit- and your future self is remembering that physical sensation that goes along with that positive feeling, that positive memory. And I want you to imagine that your future self is going to concentrate on capturing that feeling, on remembering that feeling and saying to yourself in the future, I know how to be strong. I know how to feel accomplished. I know how to feel brave. I know how to feel courage. I know that I will come through this. It doesn't matter how difficult it is. I know that I can come through this. I know how to feel brave. I know how to feel accomplished. I know how to feel courage. And then I want you to imagine that that future self is emboldened and uplifted by this memory of this exercise that we're doing. And I want you to think about how it's going to feel when you're in that situation and you remember what it feels like to be strong. And then I want you to inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. And you're going to love your future self. You're going to love your future self Regardless of what your future self ends up doing, you're going to love your future self. Because things get hard sometimes, and things don't always work out the way we want them to. But your past self is going to, re- is going to love your future self, and your future self is going to remember your past self loving your future self. And that is going to build you up. Yeah, I know. It sounds a little woo-woo, but believe me, it works. Project this positivity into the future and it will actually support you in a day when you have to make a tough decision. Even if it's something as simple as just deciding Not to eat something that you really, really would like to eat. But you know it's not good for you and you know that it's not meeting your health goals. And you really don't want to. You don't want to want to, but you do want to. Even if it's something as simple as that. You can love yourself through it from the past. Now I want you to imagine that your future self is feeling strong, strengthened, and supported by your past self. And I want you to inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, and inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. All right, and now I want you to open your eyes. And I hope you feel very good about what you've just done. I hope you feel that you can do whatever you set your mind to 
even if it doesn't work out exactly the way that you imagine it will, I want you to feel like you can do whatever you really, really, really want to do. Because that's what we're here to, that's what we're here for. We're here to figure out where we're going and what we want to do and figure out how we're going to get there. And together, we're going to get there. Okay? So, thank you again for joining Aunt Patty's Carnivore Hippie Meditation. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Peace, love, and meat. Bye-bye.